Good evening, friendos. It's time for Infinity Drive for Life Round 5 tonight. Getting our way to the halfway point and more through our second full run-through of all nine androids, all nine Infinity Drives. My goodness. Runs 13 through 15 coming up tonight. Yesterday, or not yesterday's, Monday's runs being 10 through 12. Win-loss win, so we are sitting at a competent, if not all that great, 50% win rate. Six wins, six losses so far. My goodness. Let's maybe uh, hit the north side at 50% after tonight. That would be real nice. Um, tonight, we've got Holly, and we've got Peanut, and we've got Coral. My goodness. My goodness, what a lineup we got tonight. Well, this being Infinity Drive for Life, this is a multi-day charity stream benefiting Extra Life, which benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals for their COVID-19 impact fund. Obviously, COVID-19 and a global pandemic still raging quite strongly, especially here in the United States and uh, in my home state, which is quite unfortunate. Um, but that's what makes uh, this so important of what we're doing, is raising money for charities, uh, charities that go to help uh, Kind of alleviate those problems so thank you very much for your everybody thank you very much everybody for your generosity so far we've raised a total of 453 dollars which is supoib uh very good very cool thank you everybody for that uh, but we still got some time we still got some time uh last time we unlocked round six which will be happening this friday 28th august 7 p.m cdt so we bumped up that point extension threshold for the next round for round seven which would be next monday to 1,400 points. We are sitting at a smooth 980 points of 1,400 right now. We've got plenty of time to get that up and uh, get that seventh round unlocked. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. But in order to do so, of course, we've got donations. Uh, every dollar of donations gives us one more point towards that 1,400, but also some other things going on too. So one point for every down I take. We are well into triple digits, uh, working our way towards 200. We are sitting at 156 right now. Uh, five points for every Embryo EX fight we, uh, get involved in. We've hit seven out of total of 12 runs. Not bad, not bad. Ten points for each Justice Surge. We've only got two out of 12. Not so good there, but we'll try our best tonight. Six victories out of 12 runs. 20 points each, so we're at 120 points total there. Five points for each new follow, so 10 points there. 20 points for each new sub. 180 points total there. My goodness. Thank you, everybody, for all the new subs and stuff. And then six points from our 600 total bits. Uh, cheered, I guess. Cheers, the verb, right? Six points for 600 bits cheered. One point for 100 bits. So we're looking at a cool 980 points out of 1,400. My goodness. That's that's very cool. That's very cool. we still got plenty of time to unlock more rounds. Trust me, I have planned pretty ahead uh, for for how high that counter is shooting. So uh, let's let's make that happen. Oops, I'm not doing two player or two one player two controller tonight. That would be silly. Um, but all right, let's let's get started. We've already got the uh, the colors of our first Android on. We got Holly. Uh, let's get the window dressing set though, huh? Don't forget. Excellent, 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 excellent. Well, uh, for the scoring contest we got going on, for the results guessing of all of these Infinity drives that we're doing, the top two scorers. We'll receive uh, one copy each of Assault Android Cactus for Switch. Or, excuse me, Assault Android Cactus Plus for Switch. The actual physical Switch cart comes in a nice little standard Switch box, full color manual and all that, plus a pack of trading cards. Probably not going to be able to see that uh, on the low-res camera, but that's fine. Uh, trust me, there are trading cards in there as well as a super rare sticker. Very cool stuff. I promise I uh, haven't opened them up at all. They are perfectly factory sealed. Don't even know what cards are in there, so whoever gets those uh, will be nice and pleasantly surprised. All right, that's enough initial yakking on my part. Let's 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 get going. Let's get going. Let's, let's start a Holly run here. We'll be using Holly's alternate skin. Her I, I call it casual Holly, um, punk Holly, goth Holly. I suppose I don't know. I think she's she's quite cute, regardless of what you want to call that getup. But let's get going. Let's get going. Holly, 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 Holly. Holly, 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 Holly. So of course her primary weapon is a little secret gun she's got going on. It's like Contra homing, but not quite as powerful until we get it fully powered up. And we will get to that shortly. Her secondary being her big old cannonball. One shot, multiple kills, hopefully. Oh, then we gotta let it recharge before we can use it again. Uh, very good at chewing through a bunch of big boys in sequence, like this guy. Boom. Eat it, please. Oh, didn't wait for that dude to appear. That's all right. That's right, that's right. So we've been talking about the backstories of each android now that we are on our second complete run-through of everybody. Uh, Holly's is, uh, 
is, like the others, very interesting. She is the accountant uh, of this deep space uh, long-haul freighter, the Genki Star. She's the accountant. It's, it's really funny. She is, like, the typical nerd, right? She's got the nerd glasses going on and everything. Um, and, uh, like a lot of the other androids we've kind of profiled before, she has a very specific relationship with one of the bosses we will be making kiss the floor later on. Um, but we've got four layers until we really need to explain the particulars of that, so let's just kind of enjoy the ride for now. On to layer four. Red layer four. Easy peasy. Easy start. Holly is pretty good. It is quite good. Very fun to play. Uh, n not quite as traditional, I would say, as the others because of her secondary weapon, that, that big old slow-moving cannonball. But her primary is pretty, pretty consistent, at least. Uh, not super good for single-target DPS, um, but if you really don't want to spend a lot of time aiming at stuff, uh, it's definitely for you. Let's grab that shutdown, whatever, and I wanted that to be a, a firepower, but that's okay. Uh, we're not too concerned with our power-up consumption just yet. It's only layer 4, after all. Let's forget that there's uh, the first Buster Titan, the first big blue Titan on layer 4. It seems kind of early every time. But whatever. What are you going to do? What are you going to do but knock him down and move on? My goodness. My goodness. We are nearly through layer 4 already. Yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. So red layer 5. This is the first grouping of kind of surprise mines later on. Hopefully we will not be too surprised. But I tend to forget things quite frequently, so we might very well be surprised. Here they come. Oh, wow, they got some got some spicy bounces on them this time. But they could not match our homing gun. We'll just do our best. Hopefully get through layer 5 without taking a surprise down. You never know, though. We got some time. We got some time to really mess things up. Um, kind of take that shut down. I want to get it off the outer ring, or the inner ring, rather. Very opposite. More things get spicy in the layer transition. Okay, not gonna... Oh, we are gonna take a silly down to a bullet! Not even to a mine! <laughs> oh, layer five. Cheeky bugger. Okay, well, there we go. First down's out the way. Nothing but smooth sailing from here on out. Man, I even specifically moved to avoid those bullets, but apparently I did not move well enough. Ah, well. Win some, lose some. More often than not, lose some. Here we are in good old layer six. We've already advanced fast past the blue layer into green, so we're already well on our way to recovery. Very soon we will be moving on to layer 7 and our first boss battle. Which, uh, because we're playing Holly, has a little, little extra special thing to it. Not anything gameplay related, just for lore's sake. Just for lore's sake. Um, Holly uh, canonically actually gets bullied rather heavily by Embryo. So we're going to take our revenge. We're going to bully Embryo instead. We'll see how he likes it. Spoilers, he will not like it. He will not like it very much at all. Because even though he thought he would get that big promotion at work today, he ain't. He ain't gonna. Because, boom, there goes phase one. Good, good work, Embryo. Each fully powered cannon shot eating at least three quarters of the total phase health there. My goodness, look at that bonk. A nice meaty clunk when it touches, too. Bonk. Alright. Of course, then we see kind of the, the lack of DPS even a, a fully powered Holly primary has. We want to keep our firepower up as much as we can. Let's do that. Bonk. Finish off Embryo. Way to go. He has failed to stop us yet again. So see you later, Embryo. Maybe we'll see a, a, a spicy variant of you later on. At layer 32. Here we are in red layer 8. 
Very good. Um, okay, cool. There was a little tiny wasp over there. Nice. G good job. Broke our chain for us. Uh, we didn't need it anyways. It was holding us back. Because we really wanted to drop to blue layer 8 instead of red. V very good plan. But that's alright. So Holly is primary. Very good at dealing with wasps. We don't have to aim too much. And they're weak enough to go down in, in one or two bullets. We can worry about our movement and staying out of trouble more than turning the aim at stuff. Oh, that's gonna hit the wall there. Oopsie. Should we go get that big boy soon? Be. Oh, he actually made his way onto the conveyor. Good for him. He's had better luck navigating that thing than we have. Oh, okay. Okay, just missed that shot entirely. That's fine. Uh, can we wiggle you around? We cannot. It's unfortunate. We're gonna try to do a lot of enemy kiting with this slow-moving cannonball. Pull off some trick shots, maybe get a few lucky spawns that drop right onto it. That would be fun and cool. Doesn't always work that way. See, like there, we we trick shot at that jumbo Fido into the into the thing. We hit the gap in the wall just perfectly. It's nice and cool. Glad it worked out that time. And probably that time only. Excellent. All right, on to layer ten. Blink and you'll miss it. I don't think we're gonna trick shot that other mega cake into that one. Nope. Surely will not. Bye-bye, Layer 10. Nice knowing you for like 30 seconds. Very much the cannonball turns into fire and forget, especially where the big boys are concerned. Just hope they don't wander out of range of it. Of course, assuming our aim is okay, usually just plunking one into the turrets is a pretty soft touch, too. Factories are a little bit harder to kite, but we managed to clip the side of that one. That's good. And on point mostly with our cannonball shots. That one, we're gonna double up on the big boys. Ooh, that was a weird move to do. Are we gonna nail that? <laughs> we well, I got the trick shot out of it, okay. And a fire and forget with uh, a reasonable amount of aim. I had to kite both of those. Nice. Okay. Did the double kill. So red layer as well. Things are looking up. Chain is advancing towards quadruple digits rather nicely. Before you know it, we'll be on layer 15 with Vespi, but a couple layers to go until then. 13 and 14. I don't think either of those are particularly problematic. But memory being what it is, I'm probably very wrong. Swoop the diff on those two? Nope, couldn't quite clip his arm there. Good. We're gonna lose that power up to the layer transition there, but that's okay. As long as we didn't lose that battery. Not that it really matters. We're not really in a in a layer where 100% battery retrieval really matters. 13 is still pretty much a soft touch. But even so, we don't want to intentionally miss them. That would be, uh, would be a, the level of trolling that I don't do as a player. Ah, oh, rip chain. Cause that dude was kind of hanging out there. A, a, a good solid thousand start. We got plenty of time to bring it back. Fortunate that we couldn't carry it into Vespi Lair and beyond. And I smooth 2,000 out of that, but eh, that's right. 
That is a-okay. Trick shot these two. Try to aim that properly. Yep, we got it. Didn't know what hit. Backed up a little bit more to hit the, the big boy out of that one too, but I just wanted to get that blue laser out of our way. Take a shut down, I guess. Not really too concerned about power up usage just yet. All right, and hello to Vespi. Still a pain, even with Holly fully powered as she is right now. We can get a, a couple good cannon shots like that one there. It was pretty good. Have to lead her a little bit on this. Okay, good, good, good. Try to keep our firepower going as well. These clustered wasps can still be a little bit silly. Oop, didn't necessarily want the uh, the shutdown there, especially since it didn't hit her after the phase transition. Oh well. It moves so far at the very least. Back it up and hopefully grab this firepower. Thank you. We will just take this shutdown, though, because, eh, don't care for Vespi final phase at all. So, see ya, Vespi. No problems there. On to layer 16. Nice red 16. Back to a thousand chain before you know it. Ooh, nice trick shot of that second wasp can there. Usually, if you line the cannon shot up with it relative to its center, or relatively close to its center rather, you can usually nuke the entire thing in one go. Alright, there's casual thousand chain back. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I'm sure it'll stick around forever this time. Okay. Player transition there. On to Red 17. That guy had somewhere to be. See, he was doing the thing I should be doing with Conveyor Belt and walking with it instead of against it all the time. See, I never tend to learn. But 17, rife with bunches of mines, and of course, I spread my damage just enough to break chain. So hooray. <laughs> oops. Oops, oops, oops. That's alright. Plenty of time to bring that back once again. We've got a, a face and a side and a rear full of laser that time. Way to go. He was doing the right thing and protecting me from it. Props to him. Alright, I'm gonna grab the shutdown, because I don't like how those two lasers survived up there. I don't want to deal with it. Or that one. As so spread out as we tend to get sometimes, I end up eating a face full of laser when I'm not sure quite where it is. Shot there. And a couple big boys out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was a bit scary. Oh, we're gonna miss this one too, because of course there's a turret on the other side. Why wouldn't there be? I'm gonna rip that chain. That one didn't really get a chance to get started, so I'm not too disappointed by that. You get a copy of the game for the top two donators. No, not necessarily. There's a score guessing contest going on. The top two scorers in that contest will get the copies of the games. And while it may seem late to the party to get involved in that, 
You really just need to guess well for a couple of rounds. And you can shoot yourself in the top position. Maybe not so much now, since there's only really one round you can make guesses against, but that's alright. But if you'd like to participate anyways, just to make things interesting and cool and fun, uh, play down Infinity Drive 4.life. Take you to the, the scoring contest guessing challenge thingamading. Throw in some guesses for at least the final guaranteed round, round 6 on Friday. And then, oh my god, this is looking scary. <laughs> and then, if we do manage to unlock round 7, that'll be open for guesses. Uh, as soon as we know that's gonna happen. Of course, there are, there's plenty of time yet to unlock round 7. Because we've got tonight, and then we've got Friday. And then if we do end up unlocking round 7, <laughs> we'll have round 7. Have the amount of time we spend with round seven to, to work our way towards round eight. So uh, <laughs> there are plenty of ways to, to, to draw this out even further, which I very much enjoy. Like I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't enjoy the game. But just to lend this a little bit of perspective, we're doing runs. What what I say, 13 through 15 tonight, right? And that's about the number of runs I've done, not including the previous runs of the event for the remainder of 2020, leading up to this point. That's about the number of runs I've done for practice. And we're knocking all those out in, in the span of two weeks, so. That's a lot of Infinity Drive. It really is. Um, and for an intense uh, run such as this, that's, uh, it, it takes a, uh, it takes having fun with it quite a bit. <laughs> in order to, to not, like, go absolutely wild with it. Um, I would like that battery, please, and not to be caught in this corner. Thank you. Okay, I did at least get that aim correct. Bonk, 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 okay. Not really a big fan of layer 20 with Holly, because it's, it's the enemies are just too dense to really do anything super cool like, uh, you know, Licorice Slash or a nice condensed pack with Obby's Singularity and then Kilo sh Salad Shootering up the place. But I guess we can get through it all right. Wow, nice! We actually trick shot at the, uh, the center turret. Wasn't sure we would have enough mustard on that cannonball to do it, but we did. I missed the turret on that one. Oh no, we caught it! Interesting. The only problem with playing Holly is that I tend to watch my trick shots too much rather than watching where I'm actually at when things start getting gnarly. But I, mean, I guess that's all part of the fun. Oh, jeez, wow, caught that mine full in the face. But thankfully with the Accelerate, negated every third damage so we, uh, we survived somehow. Ooh, we're coming up on uh, the layer 27 stretch, right? 27th layer stretch, rather? I don't want to forget it, tonight in particular, because we've got something something funny and special coming up. And I can't wait for it. It's really cool. Ooh, nice quick shot there. Dude landed right on it. Way to go. that guy into position. Yeah, nice. Good shot. Kind of intended, kind of not. Wiggle that guy over. Ah, not quite. He's uh, busy loading up his arm cannons there. Should be on center enough to get the turret. Very good. Catching the face there, excuse me. Fire power 
Excellent. All right, player 22, right, for Justice? Never remember what numbered layers are the bosses, except for Vespi. Vespi is a, a popular numbered layer to remember. Ooh, boy, look at that little. Look at that little move, little spin move to avoid the laser. All right, Justice is a pretty soft touch most times. Uh, we don't end up in a in a poor position, like almost there, because I usually catch a face full of budget helo there. All right, we're gonna try this. It's not gonna be easy. Ah, uh, no, we messed it up. So we we hit that final head a little bit too early. So no justice surge, no extra ten points. Oh well. Twenty-three. Layer twenty-three is justice. My goodness. Really bad at counting. Really bad at counting and remembering previous layers, apparently, and not running into giant mines. Well, no biggie. Oh my goodness, they're gonna knock me down again, ain't they? Because they're gonna pin me along the outside. Okay, good thing we had a shutdown there. <laughs> it could have ended very poorly. But alright, we're nearing the halfway point here, nearly to layer 25. The game is deciding it is less pleased with us now. It was kind of humoring us before, saying like, okay, well, we'll give you a fair shake, but now it's like, alright, uh, you gotta start getting serious, otherwise you're out of here. And we've got news for the game. We are always serious. Nice distance shot on that. even did a little chip damage on him because he dropped right in front of it. Mm, this is getting a little scary because we're caught on the outside again. We need to get in. One, grab that battery, and two, get rid of this laser. So that's gonna knock me out if I leave it alive for too much longer. Mm. Hero Mine escaped the cannonball. Interesting. Interesting play. That trick. <laughs> ah, we almost got the fourth kill in there too. That would have been something. Just didn't quite drop in the right position for it. Speaking of hat tricks though, we are tonight. For tonight's uh, set of androids, Holly, Peanut, and Coral, we are working off a hat trick of losses. It's our first go-throughs with them last week. On Monday for Holly, and on Friday for Peanut, or Friday for Peanut and Coral, I believe, right? All three were losses, and that's disappointing, and we wish to correct that. So we will do our best to do so tonight. Peanut was the closest loss by far. We took a spill on layer 49 out of 50. Holly was a little bit more traditional. We took a spill at 39. And then Coral was honestly an embarrassment. We took a real early spill on 35. Do not want to repeat that shortly. But mayhaps we will have victories in all three tonight. Wouldn't that be something? I'd push our win rate up, up, up. Put us at 9 out of 15. That would be something. Honestly, I'd be happy with probably just one win tonight. No, well, no. Happy, happy isn't the right word. Satisfied, perhaps. Happy would be, like, all three wins. Satisfied is at least one. 
Oh my goodness, they are dropping mines. Casino layer. Act three. Or act one, I guess, is our first casino layer on the evening. Seeing two more of them in the other two runs. Oh right, we're coming up to the 27th layer stretch too. I'm gonna remind myself that right now so I don't forget. I think it'll be coming right now. Okay. <laughs> 27th layer stretch. good oh that's so good that's so good um so shout outs to kenny for putting together that little ditty for us um <laughs> we actually remembered to do the stretch this time as well which is very important very important to stretch and hydrate when you're spending a lot of time uh sitting in one place and hoping for the best uh so important to stretch very much important to stretch So, the reason we do that on layer 27 is, it's really the last layer we can truly take it easy. Because once we hit 28, usually around 28, maybe a, maybe low 30s, depending on who you're playing at, then things get really too serious to interrupt your flow. That, and I wanted to do a whole call to the, you know, baseball 7th inning stretch thing. It's the last layer ending in 7 where you can really do that without serious consequences. If we were to take it like literally in, in baseball where it's 7th inning stretch, 7 ninths through the way through the game, that would end up landing us on layer 39, which uh, you don't want to interrupt yourself when you're on layer 39. My goodness. That's how the bad things happen. So we decided to just, uh, you know, fudge it a little bit and, and, and take layer 27 instead. Because now we're getting to the point where the game is uh, kind of sick of us. It wants us to, uh, to stop playing. And it wants us to stop playing in a manner of its choosing, which is, of course, losing. Um, we're going to say no to that, though, because we are the masters of our own faith. And we will decide when to stop playing. Or rather, we're not directly responsible for when we stop playing. Our skill is responsible for when we stop playing. Um, and I can't really control my skill most times, so... Honestly, a, a little half and half is going on there. Oh, didn't quite catch him. We caught his buddy, though. Nice. Okay, that was pretty good enemy management there. We got a lot of the big dudes out the way. Oh, that was poor management, though. We got shot in the back. Uh, by one of the trashiest mobs ever, so, um, oops. Rip that chain. That was a nice strong 2000-some, I think, right? On to blue layer 29. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. I considered controlling my skill to make my skill bigger. You know, that's a... That's good advice. I, I really should listen to that, but you know... May maybe tonight's not the night to listen to that advice. Oh my, that was a, a close laser shave there. Felt the heat on it. Back to red 29. Very good. Ooh, we're getting in a tight spot there. Okay. Think about what we're doing for a hot second. Let's 
difference there a little bit. Nope, we missed all the big ones. <laughs> Oops. Got all the trash mobs in between. But none of the big boys took a spill. A little bit late of a shutdown grab there, that was a little bit frightening. That was just quick enough to not get bodied by the entire spray of mine can goo, so... Worked out. Mm, this is getting frightening too, I should stop putting myself along the outside edge. Especially when there's a bunch of big blue boys gunning for my blood here. Let's stay more towards the middle, and that way we can knock out the central turrets without them getting the drop on us later as well. Okay, good. On to 30. Red layer 30. Very, very strong enemy waves here. But, lots of enemy waves means lots of weapon energy drops, which means lots of battery drops. So this is exactly what we want. As scary as it can be. Also wish to not drop chain anymore, please. It's getting to the serious part of the game where that's really a concern. Sometimes with Holly, especially for the some of the enemies having a, a very strong penchant for getting caught behind walls. Not exactly the easiest to hunt them down with Holly. We'll do our best to kite them appropriately. Oops. Drop chain there because there was a bunch of big dudes. Not anything easy that we could keep our chain rolling. That's alright. If we're going to drop chain in the early 30s, it may as well be layer 30 itself. The least problematic of the layer 30s. Quite uh, scrape that dude, huh? Oops. So we're coming up on, well, we are in layer 31 now. We're coming up on Titan Gank for 31, which will make our make or break our chances to see Embryo EX. Which, if we do see him, that'll give us five more points towards round seven. Excuse me, my goodness, dude. Very handsy there. Luckily, the Blue Titans cannot quite jump entirely over the cannonball. We'll catch it with their little feeties as they jump over and uh, take a spill immediately as they come into contact with it. Not unlike I did, right there. Luckily, we are just before Titan Gank, so we're still good. Still good here. Or rather, we still have a strong chance to get to the Embryo EX fight. Here we go. Here's Titan Gank. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's take a Coward Blue. many of those down as we can, considering our one-and-done cannonball. Nice shoot. That trick there. Alright, we're through Titan Gank, but we're not quite through this yet. Make sure we don't take a silly spill to a rapid-fire bullet spray from these dudes. Looking good. Looking good. Alright. Here's Embryo EX, that's another five points towards round seven. Here's hoping we can 
make this a nice battery recharge. That would be real good. We're gonna take this shutdown, because I don't like really any of these phases with Holly. We want to keep firepower rolling, and then if we've got... Oh, jeez, that was scary. We've got a spare shutdown sitting around, we'll take that, too. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Ooh, I probably wanted the shutdown rather than the firepower, but that's alright. Let's just keep up in his grill and... Wiggle that one? No, we didn't. That's okay. Still keep chain going there. Whew. Our movement saved us more than our aim. Okay, this one's always kind of scary. So you gotta lead it quite a bit. Can we get it? Ah! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> Slow as heck, cannonball wins the day there. Now we've gotta watch the spread, because usually coming off a shutdown, it's hard to gauge where he's gonna put it. Oh, kind of like that, but my goodness, we, we made it through. Oh, we're going to drop chain now because we were too far away. That's all right. We didn't take a spill. That's important. We did lose chain. It's too many accelerants. We don't need that many accelerants. So, with that chain drop, that puts us into blue 33. Not great. Um, especially 33 can drain quite a bit of your battery, even after a full refill from Embryo EX there. But, as long as we don't do anything silly, we'll be on green 33. Hopefully you catch both of those dudes. Nice, nice, nice. And just at least keep our battery from hitting critical. Just don't want to be going into 34 with a, a mediocre battery level. Oh, nice. Good leading there. Tried to jump it, but he came down on top. It's great for us. Okay, good shooting. Okay. Getting some late battery drops. It's not good. It's not what we want to see. But Holly's overall lack of speed on some layers, it's not too surprising. Nice shot. Nice shot there. Good shot there. Did we get the second blue out of there? I couldn't tell. Just me watching my cannon trick shots instead of the level again. Okay, good. Good layer transition. Strong red 34. These blue factories cleared out so we're not running into bullet spray. Alright, so first little blip uh, critical battery there on 34. Pretty good. That's a good sign. Um, doesn't mean we're done here, but it's a good sign. Oh my goodness, please. Oh my goodness, please. <laughs> Lasers and giant mines and giant red doggos shooting their rockets. My goodness, this is a... This is a real Layer 34's 34 here, I'll tell you what. Okay, we got lucky that that doggo didn't grab us there. Without an accelerate going here, we are susceptible to getting nabbed. I don't know why that dude jumped opposite, that was weird. Very weird choice on his part. I'm gonna grab... it's getting spicy there, I'm gonna grab a shutdown. I, I don't like it. I don't like how this is shaking out. That's with the shutdown there too, because too many turrets. Many doggos jumping around. Okay, good in the, the transition into red 35. Nice shut down there to kind of clean out the middle.
Ooh, boy. That you caught, caught a little across the nose there. <laughs> Luckily, it was only a glancing blow, so we survived. Ooh, a little blip of critical there. That's fine. Clean that up while we go back to the center. Leave that battery on the field too long. Now, the quicker we get batteries, the better it's going to be. Keep everything flowing nice and fast. Ooh, thousand chains back again. Good, good, good. Laser Reaper, Spectre Dude, whatever. Softened up that turret for us a little bit. Okay, I'm hoping that's gonna hit the turret. It did not. <laughs> so I really don't want these blue lasers kind of giving us some problems here. Nice shot there. Alright, I'm gonna grab that. Even the field a little bit. Okay, strong into 36. Ooh, that's gonna clip that, I hope. Thank you. <laughs> Been a bad shot if we hadn't hit that thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We did clip his arm there. Ooh, things are getting spicy! <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. Please let Holly through. <laughs> That's a lot of bullet sprays that we don't want to deal with. Thank you. Okay. Real strong 36. Real... Strong 36 so far. Keeping that battery just barely out of critical. Not taking any silly downs. We had a couple dangerous moves. Um, thankfully, they paid off. Should be getting near the end of 36 here soon. Just now the layers are, are getting extremely long. So by the time we hit 37 and 38, we'll want have a nice bit of momentum going. Oh, okay. Okay, good. We just barely kept chain there. Please clip that thing. Thank you. A good battery drop there, at the very least. I knew one of those big boys would have it. Play this long enough, eventually you get a feel for when batteries should and should not drop. Until we get to 38, and then it's anybody's guess, really. bit later than I would have wanted. It's okay. Jeez. Slow phase-ins for those dudes. Excuse me. I'm clip that dude, so let's go in for it, I guess. Okay, I, I feel like we're losing a little bit on each one here. That's not good. Especially on the approach to 38. The curse! The curse is presence now. Well, why that one was so late? Come on. I know our momentum's not great, but it's not that bad. Uh, a little dicey now. Losing a lot of momentum. 38 will do that, of course, but... Mmm, mm, shoots. Dropping chain there is problematic. Mm. I mean, 
so we'll be going into blue, possibly green 39. Depending on how many lit waves of enemies we have to deal with first here. Okay, blue 39 is uh, problematic. to not miss those and also need to not take downs <laughs> all right so we're, we might wrangle a pity out of this okay that was the only thing keeping us alive there uh, now this is kind of bad so we're probably gonna have to burn a few shutdowns in the hopes that we can get our speed up a bit Bring our battery back into tolerable levels. Can we clip that, dude? Thank you. Dude, scary. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> uh. I don't quite what to say about this. This is um, not good. Okay, we're keeping the battery somehow. Use some strategic shutdowns a little bit to make these big dudes go away faster. Okay. Alright, we're in the 40s. That's good. That's good. That's a... Now it's gonna be my kingdom for several shutdowns. <laughs> Preferably not immediately in a row, but well-timed enough to, to not make things bad. Okay, uh, that was a well-timed shutdown between layers. Down accelerate combo, thank you. <laughs> this is still kind of scary. Like I don't, I don't know if we're if this is gonna carry the day. Okay, that was a good series of things there. Okay, good. Good clear entryway into the middle there. that because I know the middle is going to fall away and I don't want to lose those power-ups. Excellent. Good battery drop. All right, that makes me feel better. We're still only on 43 though, so it could really go south soon. Good layer transition shut down again. Ooh -hoo. Spicy grab. Excellent. Out of critical. Amazing. I don't want to avoid shutdowns on this layer because of how spread out things get, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Okay, good. Doggo, please. Thank you. Still a bit sketchy. Glad we got both of those out of there. Keep the freaking chain. <laughs> Please. Please to keep the chain. That was a little bit scary too, but I did want the shutdown firepower combo there. Top of the big dude for that battery. Um, 
Is that good enough aim? We're gonna clip him? Nope. Of course not. Okay, good. Glad the battery popped over here. Instead of in the middle of all of that mess. Especially without our accelerate to bring it over to us. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Spicy shot. Okay. Woo okay, good thing for that shutdown. Ah, I knew we were gonna take a spill there. I want the shutdown combo there. Um scary. Thank you. <laughs> I needed a kill very quickly there. We got it. Phew! <laughs> scary. Very, very scary there. But we made it. And uh, over 40 million with Holly, too. Pretty good. Pretty good. Single digit downs. Looking nice. We had a lot of silly chain drops in there, which makes things scary, uh, scarier than they needed to be. Um, but very good. Very good, very good, very good. So, boom. We, uh, we got a victory with Holly now. One for two with her for the entire event. Let's tick up some numbers here. 156 plus six will be 162. We got an Embryo EX fight in there. No Justice Surge, unfortunately. A victory. There's 20 points there. No followers or subscriptions or bits, so that's fine. Boom. Okay, we are ever closer. Ever, ever closer. We've cracked a thousand points, which is nice. Still a bit to go to 1400, though. Plenty of time to do it. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Whew. Okay. Oops, well, not retry. Wow, no, we don't need to do two Holly runs. As fun as that would be, we don't need to do two Holly runs tonight. Um, so let's move on to number two. Number two tonight. Well, peanut means we gotta change shirts. Look away if you're squeamish. Put that Holly shirt aside for another night. On to the orangest, boldest orangest shirt in my wardrobe, really. Ah, look at that. Strong, strong orange. Here we go. So we've got a bit of an embarrassing loss on the books for Peanut. Last Friday, took a spill on layer 49. <clears throat> Victory was within grasp, but we did not do well enough at the end Come on. to make things happen. Um, so here, we can reverse another loss, perhaps. With a, with a good old second try at Peanut. Let's get the window dressing in shape as well. Onk. Okay. Okay, okay, and we received another donation in the intermeeting, into intervening time as well. $25 from Firetron, simply stating, good run. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Much appreciated. That, of course, gives us 20 more, 25 more points to 14 hundo required to unlock round 7. Excellent. Thank you very much. Alright, so the second peanut run, then, we'll be using her alt skin. She's all cleaned up! Still didn't have any of the, the grease and oil, and, and her armor's all shiny, and she's still missing the one horn. Or the one antenna, or whatever. Um, but, but she's all clean. All clean and shiny. Maybe that'll make the difference. Maybe we'll move just a bit faster. Be just a bit better. Well enough to, to make this run a win. Let's go. Alright, <clears throat> all right, let's go. Peanut, 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 peanut. So, Peanut's story is that she is the chief engineer of the Genki Star, the little deep space freighter thing. Um, hence why she's usually all gunked up and stuff, and she doesn't uh, really care much to repair her uh, android chassis, that's why she's usually beat up. Um, but at least she got cleaned up for tonight. She knew how important tonight was. She's like, you know what? Let's, let's get cleaned up. 
just for the event. Let's get cleaned up. And, and we're very grateful for that. And it'll help us out a little bit, maybe. But her story is, is that she uh, and a, another boss that you would face in the standard campaign do not get along very well. Thankfully, we do not face that boss in Infinity Drive. That would be quite a pain. Um, but if you do play the game and you play through the campaign and you get to the boss of Zone 4, it'll be Venom, and uh, Venom and Peanut do not get along. Which, I really don't blame her for not really getting along with Venom, because Venom's kind of a jerk. I mean, not kind of, he's really a jerk, so uh, I'm gonna side with Peanut, honestly, and be like, you know what, doesn't matter. We don't care for Venom. And that's okay. <clears throat> Does Peanut have a mentor like the other androids? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, every android has kind of either a, a, a mentor in the bosses or... Um, Someone they really don't get along with, and, and Peanut doesn't really get along with the Venom. Which is fine. Which is fine and understandable. Like, she's gone to HR, she, she's filed some complaints, but HR really doesn't do anything about it, so... You know, they just have to kinda coexist on the Genki Star, I guess. Unfortunately. Here we are, already in Red Layer 4. The time flies when it's the beginning of the run. Peanut's primary, of course, is this little magma gun thing that we're shooting out at pretty much all times. Sticks on the floor, so anything that walks over it while it's there takes damage. Ends up making her one of the faster androids to play if you're doing, a, say, a speedrun of campaign. You can just lay it down. Whilst you're not actively shooting at anything else, just lay a, a nice thick layer down and, and let stuff just walk over and, and boom, problem solved. Real good at dispatching mines as they pop down too. It's usually once they hit that magma goo on the ground, they're toast. So they don't bother you none later. Her secondary drill thing is, uh, is rather neat and unique and exciting. Uh, pretty sick single target damage. Also gives you iframes as long as you've got it stuck in a big boy there. But you're not invincible until you get it stuck in a big boy, so if you're on your way over to drill something, watch out lest you take a spill. Like I almost did there from that rocket. Kind of frightening. Unfortunately, her combo of weapons really doesn't have the greatest range. Uh, so we're gonna want to stay close to most everything if we can. Not too close, though. We don't want to hug the mines, as we are wont to do most often. So we'll keep our distance from the mines, since they tend to toddle toward us anyways. Uh, but everything else we'll want to stay pretty close to. Ooh, good. Almost dropped chain there, but something ate it just in time to keep the chain going. Hopefully, Silly Minds of Six will not bother us this time. Alright, we managed that rather well. No surprises. No explosions in our face. Everything went according to plan. Looks like we'll have a nice, easy six. On to Embryo! So, Holly's nemesis, of course, um, will not pose much of a threat to Peanut. If we get a nice strong drill into him, that's uh, a good three quarters of his phase health. And with the uh, extra hurt we put onto him with the Magla, pretty easy phases all the way around. Okay. Undrilled a little bit too soon. That's okay. But yet again, Embryo Mark 1 here does not put up much of a fight. So, rip Embryo, thanks for coming into work yet again. Um, but perhaps you should have stayed home this time again. 
on a, a nice smooth red layer eight. Things are going very well for old Peanut for now. I want to be careful when drilling into an active laser. So if you have your aim off just a little bit, you'll catch the laser in the face before you have to stick the drill in the turret itself. Quite embarrassing. Embarrassing way to go. Um, but sometimes it happens. Nothing to be ashamed of. Well, that's not true. You should probably be a little ashamed of it. Walls being a, a big bane to, to Peanut's playstyle here. Especially the drill, you hit the wall with the drill out, you just doink off without really doing much. Like so. Of course, with these walls the way they are, it makes targeting with the drill really a pain in the butt. On top of having the conveyor belt going! So, layer 9, not my favorite. It's not the greatest layer. But hey, look at that. We've got Casual Thousand Chain already. Isn't that nice? That nice and cool. Um, sir, please, thank you. <laughs> on again, off again, on my conveyor. Oh my god! <laughs> Laser to the face! Dude got caught behind the wall on the conveyor belt, so instead of just, you know, straight shot, nope, here it comes sweeping across to ruin our day. So layer 9 gets that one. Dang, we almost hit double digits. Not taking a silly spill. Couldn't quite manage. Oh well. Win some, lose some. That's Sayonara Layer 10. I blinked, so I missed it. Back up to red 11, that's fine. Not really a, a huge loss. It was a low thousands chain, so not really a big loss there either. And it's still early enough in the game, of course, where it's no trouble at all. Just maybe a little embarrassing. A little bit embarrassing and a, and a stain on whatever honor I may have had. So luckily, no big loss. Peanut's primary is a bit fire and forget as well. If you know where they're going to spawn in, just uh, lay down a layer of magma and concentrate on another group. Not exactly reliable for taking out big boys that are spawning in, but at least it'll soften them up for when you're able to devote your full attention to them later. Again, very mine-heavy layer. No problem with a little bit of magma defense going on. Okay, that was a bit spicy. We lost chain because we drilled our way away from the action. Very good idea. Took a few bullets on the way out too, so... Oops. Oh, so I guess a quick update on upcoming round six for Friday. Um, we will be starting a touch later than usual. Um, 7.30 p.m. CDT instead of 7 p.m. CDT. Uh, the reasons for which will be explained later. Uh, not right now, but just so everybody's aware. Friday night, 7 p.m. CDT is now Friday night, 7.30 p.m. CDT for round six. 
which will be the final three in our second full run through of all nine androids. Licorice, Shiitake, and Starch. Looking for second wins and or uh, redemption wins. Oh, shoot, we want to grab that battery probably. Ah! <laughs> At the cost of getting bopped in the face by a mine. Oops. Ah, well. I don't know if it was necessarily worth it to drop chain for that, but I guess it's too late. No take backsies. I've seen some guesses as to what's going on on Friday. I mean, they're not unreasonable guesses. Oops. But they're not right. They're not correct. Keep guessing if you'd like, though. It's funny to see what you guys come up with. Ah, Vespi. Less of a pain with Peanut, but still not great. I'll try to grab that firepower. Hold on. Grab this one instead. No real good ball strats with Vespi. Peanut, fortunately. That's alright. That's alright, we really don't need it. With the volume of wasps we can dispatch quite quickly. Peanut's normal weapons. Especially with the extra little layer of magma you can shove down. Poor things get real interesting. Nice, we managed to grab the firepower out of the middle of all that. Beautiful. Good play. Good play. Kind of worried that the phase would pop, the layer would, would swap over to 16, and then the middle would fall away. But uh, luckily we got in there just in time. Layer 16. Some enemy dents. Keep those batteries moving. Don't really need to carry a, care about battery too much yet. But again, always nice to keep that meter nice and full. In case we need to, to do a, a silly few downs later on, it's not going to matter as much. drill through there. Big boy ate it before we hit the wall, so we chunked into the next big boy. Okay, how's the chains back? Nice, easy, casual foul. No problems here. Accelerates, my goodness. We're fast. <laughs> We're fast enough, that's that's fine. <laughs> Don't need any more speed at the current juncture. Take that nice shutdown, that'll burn a few of those lasers away. Nice quick red layer 18 onto red 19. It's a big boys, lots of holes to navigate around. No conveyor belt, which is good. 
course the battery would pop on the exact opposite side of the field. Thanks for that. That was exactly where I don't want it. Puts it there. That one was better, thank you. Makes playing with Peanut in the later layers a bit of a liability, too. That magnet sits on the floor enough. It destroys an enemy across the level, and that enemy has the battery. Well, now you gotta have yourself a little trek. A little road trip to go get it. Not the best. Not the best sometimes. But hey, you deal with what you gotta deal with. I guess is a, a fair trade-off for the level of indirect damage you can do with Peanut here. It's a little spicy to, to cancel the drill early, depending on where you flip back out into, but since you get the, the brief invincibility for swapping from drill back to magma shooter here, you pull off some pretty neat stuff. Hopefully I don't do that straight into a missile explosion, um, but we'll see. Let's see what happens. Healthy 2000 chain. Soon, soon, soon. Like now. Good healthy boost to it, too, because of those. All those wasp cans in layer 20 really help them chain numbers a bunch. sure if that shutdown was going to eat it on the layer transition there, so we grabbed it. Good time to grab it, though, too. Get most of the stuff on the way through. Kind of the most curious bit about the magma is that it doesn't follow along with the conveyor belt. It just kind of sticks there and, like, hovers a micrometer above the floor or something. <laughs> and does its own thing. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Future Magma, the only Magma with Teflon built right in. Okay, good layer 21, despite the conveyor belt present in it. Oh, wow. Okay. Wasn't expecting to get hit by all three of those in sequence, but uh, there you have it. Thanks, 22. So a bit of a problem to be at lower power with Peanut, since her DPS really falls off rather sharply. The lower your weapon energy is. Luckily, it won't take us too long to get back up the pole, but still a pain in the butt.
On to justice. Okay, good. At least we uh, pulled our chain bonus back to pull right before justice. Embarrassing if we had. Amount of DPS put out there. Okay, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful here. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Nope. Couldn't quite do it. I was trying to set up for it, but the that last head landed way too far away from me. So no justice surge there either. Yikes. Still at a paltry two surges out of now 14 runs we've done. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. That's all right. If we truly, truly cared about score, we would have reset for the for missing the surge. But we're really just going for survive. It doesn't matter too much. And we're really not in that poor a position, anyways, score-wise. If we'd gotten the surge, we'd be well over 20 million. But honestly, only missing like 700, 800k at this point ain't bad. It means we've been keeping our downs in check good, since really at any point when you're above a million total points, each down costs you a smooth 100k. Which is a lot of points! Especially when you uh, do double-digit down counts, my goodness. It's a, a nice million plus you're losing just for taking spills. Hero mine. That hero mine almost got us. Cascading out of that can with such speed. Such speed and courage. It thought it would be the one to take us down today. But nope. Think again, my friend. layer transition. I guess we have a few more waves yet. Five is longer than I expected. That's okay. Halfway through. Well, on our way to our, our next possible point opportunity on 31 to ensure that we get Embryo EX. Got a few layers between now and then to worry about. Like 26! Casino layer, zone 2. We managed it pretty good the first time this evening. Let's see if we can do that a second. Really about managing position. There's turrets and factories and big jumpy boys, blue doggos, everything bent on making us kiss the floor. And we don't want to kiss the floor, it's all dirty. It'd be very unsanitary. Quite unsanitary to uh, kiss the floor. Ooh, we're coming up on 27th layer stretch too. My goodness, that was fast fast, but here we are, almost again. Ah, 
Alright. 27 player stretch, right? Ready for this? Ready again? Kenny, my goodness, this song is perfect. A little bit louder that time, it was a little bit quiet before, but you can hear it in all its uh, 27th player stretch glory there. Hilarious and cool and very relevant. Alright, good stretch though, good stretch, good stretch. And we're nice, uh, nice and limber, nice and loosened up to tackle roughly the second half of the game. Mm, that was a choice to drill into that mine can. Probably not a great choice, but a choice. Alright, nice smooth 27. It's because of the stretch. It's because of the stretch we did. That we handled 27 so beautifully. So it's all downhill from here. Oh, Casual Thousand Chain snuck in there again at some point. Totally whiffed it. That's alright. Let's keep that rolling. We're running out of chances to make good chains here now. donation roll in here. Get to a less problematic part of 27. There we go. $50 from CJZ. No comment, but thank you very much. Appreciate the generosity. All going to a great cause. It occurs to me I did not reiterate what that cause was between runs. It's Infinity Drive for Life, a multi-day charity stream to benefit Extra Life. It benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. In this case, this event is going towards... Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa, their COVID-19 impact fund. That's where all your donations are going to. Extra Life does not take anything off the top, aside from the standard financial transaction fees, which, honestly, this day and age, you can never get away from. So thank you very much, everybody, to everybody who's donating. For your generosity. Thanks to everybody who's watching. You're making this more fun than it would be otherwise, even though this is already pretty fun by default. Um, but thank you for hanging around. Really appreciate it. That was an interesting drill. A little bit further than perhaps we should have. Okay, nice 28 there. Very clean. Very clean and no surprises. No startling bounds. No mines to the face. Down there's a lot of big dudes dropping in. Or big enough dudes that I don't want to deal with it. Oh, donk. Caught me with that mine. I was just about to flip over and, and possibly get that shutdown, but it had other plans for me, apparently. Luckily, we're at section of the wave, or the layer rather, where it's not that much of a problem. Be back to full weapon power presently. Let's get scary with all those things hovering around. We deliberately aimed away from that mine tank. We didn't want it dumping all over us there. 
we were barely, very carefully skating around the middle. transition into 30 there, but whatever. We're still on red 30. That's good enough. That's good enough, and it's getting to the point where uh, chain drops are a problem. So anytime we can consistently get red layers out of all this. Okay. <laughs> we'll be good. Oh my goodness. Alright then. Thanks. Thanks, layer 30. Thanks for that. That was a bit scary. Took a, more than one of those mines to the face, but thankfully the Accelerate saved us. Eating every third damage does indeed have its uses. Top of the speed and the weapon energy and battery attraction. Alright, back to red layer 30 now. No more silly spills, please. Like, we have to stop doing that. If we have any hope of completing this. And not getting stuffed on 49 like we did last time. That was embarrassing. Although probably well-deserved, that 49 was atrocious. Ooh, but we are to 31, so we'll be coming across Titan Gank very soon. Make or break time for uh, Embryo EX. Point yet, though. After this wave, perhaps? No, one more wave. Then Titan Gank. I, I usually call it one one wave too early. We're almost there. I grabbed that shutdown because boy howdy. Blue factories plus uh, lasers there, not making it easy. Here comes Titan. Let's go. Let's ride. So many Titans. Remember the Titans. Although, this Remember the Titans. Not quite the smash hit in the theater that the other Remember the Titans was. Oh! But there's a smash hit. <laughs> Womp. <laughs> Alright. So no Embryo EX this time. Unfortunate, because we really could use the battery refill. Um, but oops. But oops, but oops. We'll just have to make do without. That's fine, we can do that. Have done in the past, can do again for the present. No problem, right? No problem. Easy peasy, in fact as one might say. Dudes need to stop jumping, please. Stay on the ground so I can hit you. Good board. Alright. On to red 33 now. Not quite as good a battery position as we would be if we had fought Embryo EX. But, uh, you know what? That's in the past. That's in the past and we'll be fine without. That was a weird laser shot. Excuse me. 
Did not need that. Oh my goodness, please. Oh my god! <laughs> Dang it! Cross courts! <laughs> Jerk! Ah, that's not good. <laughs> First bit of critical in 33. Instead of 34 this time. And then a very late battery pop there. Uh, excuse me. That was too late. I do not like. Do not, do not, do not like that. It's a little bit better, but still not good. Gotta prioritize the, the the laser specters a bit more. Because there's so much more of a pain in this layer than others. As they get caught on those walls as the conveyor belt is rolling around. The lasers just sweep across and nail you. Good pop on the Titan there. It's scary where he was headed with that jump. Good layer clear though. Didn't leave too many of the cans alive for too long. It's scary. Bit of express travel out of there. Uh, a lot of meatballs in there, excuse me. <laughs> Several of them were probably quite spicy. Whoa! Shoot. <laughs> shoot, shoot. Oh, of course, that last one had the, had the mine in it, huh? Or had the battery in it. Okay, this is a small problem. Small problems turning into larger problems. Turning into we need to stop taking silly downs in the early to mid 30s. Oh, that's right into the middle of that factory. Hmm. Hmm. Not good. <laughs> Certainly not good. Mm. Um, please. <laughs> uh, extremely late on that one. Lots of, lots of late drops because we're getting very slow here. Okay, that's slightly better. Ooh, that was a move we could have made. <laughs> Better. It was excellent recovery there for some reason. Ooh, nice. Mr. Spectre helped me out on that one. Which means he ultimately got credit for the kill, but they kept the chain meter going. 
and got that big titan off our back. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Um, excuse me, sir. <sighs> um, this is subpar. Good thing we recovered so well, well earlier, because that was not great. All these rockets, all these doggos. Titans being a pain. Goodness. We're not out of it yet, but that made things spicier than they needed to be. Back up the red 36. Good, 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 good. there. Good layer transition. <clears throat> Shut down, hit most of everything incoming. We're still in a very bad spot for when we hit curse in one layer. If we hit curse in one layer. We really need to have accelerate on hand as well now. Stop taking cross country trips like that. It's a lot of time. That's mm, good. Ooh, also, 8 1 right in the face as I was cruising through. This isn't good. We'd be lucky to make it out of curse at this rate. get a pity battery out of it at best, but 39 is going to kick our butts. Of course, there's one caught behind there. Have to be one. That's not the greatest 39 transition we've had. We'd be lucky to get a battery out of there. Wow, okay. Okay, um, let's 
too slow of a wave. We'd be lucky to get another pity battery out of this. We're not gonna. Oh boy. <laughs> Ouch. Those late downs really kill it. Really, really killed it. Hmm. So zero for two on Peanut. Unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Um, but that's how it goes sometimes. Womp womp. Let's put in some numbers. Let's see, 162 plus 14 would be 176. Uh, we did not get an Embryo EX fight there, or just a Surge or a Victory. All of subs orbits. Okay. A couple points there. Womp. Oh well. Okay, well that doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't put us in a good position going into the final run this evening, does it? Since, uh, this is gonna be Coral. This is gonna be Coral. Uh, I'm not good with Coral. Not good with Coral at all. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. This would be a heck of a run back if we uh, managed to pull our Coral loss on 35 from last time into a win. Unfortunately, I do not have the Coral shirt, uh, so we're gonna be sticking with Bold Orange. But we will address the window dressing at the very least. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And hydrate a bit before we get started. <laughs> you should change back to Holly's shirt, right? You know? You know, it's not a bad idea, is it? Maybe that's what it was tonight, huh? Maybe it was the shirt. Let's grab it again. <sighs> it's gum. Why did I throw it so far away? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that advice, Kenny. It's good. That's good advice. That's good, actionable advice right there. So we'll do it. Look away if you're squeamish. All right, toss the peanut shirt away for now. Back to the holly shirt. Maybe the synergy of the uh, of the holly shirt and the coral run will come together in wondrous victory. Okay. Well, this is Infinity Drive for Life, a multi-day charity stream. To benefit Extra Life, it benefits Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This event in particular going towards Children's Wisconsin in Wauwatosa to help out with their COVID-19 impact fund. Thank you very much for all of your donations thus far. We're that much closer to the 1400 point extension for round seven, which would be coming up on Monday if we do meet it by that time. Luckily we've got this run left and then round six on Friday starting at 7.30 p.m. CDT, not 7 p.m. CDT and a full three runs there to make that 1400 point extension threshold. Did I change the window dressing already? Yes, I did. Okay, just making sure. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna be playing with, uh, with Megaman colors, I think, right? Yeah, look at that. Coral Megaman. It's, it's, so, it's such a cool skin, look at that. Like, the colors are spot on, the balance between light and dark blue is great. I don't think Megaman ever had a shotgun, though. So, uh, we're, we're outside the Megaman cannon by now. But let's go. Let's go, let's go. Shotgun and plasma shield. Uh, both short range. So we've got a managed position. And enemy movements. Quite difficult. Well, difficult for me, anyways. It doesn't, uh, really mesh well with my tip play style. Bad. <laughs> Shotgun Ice. Oh, Shotgun Ice was a thing? Oh. I guess I don't remember Mega Man X all that, uh, all that well. I'll take your word for it, though. Mega Man X. Good game. Very good game. I've played Mega Man X1 and X2 and maybe a little bit of X3, but never beyond that. Now we gotta get up nice and close and personal with everything. Full shotgun blast, fully powered shotgun blast will melt just about everything in one go if you can land enough of the spread on a single target. Means getting right up in some grills, saying hi directly to some faces.
but that's coral. Shotgun and plasma shield. So, Coral's story is that she's the kickbox instructor on the Genki Star, on this Deep Space Freighter. No idea why a Deep Space Freighter needs a kickbox instructor, but, I mean, if you're gonna have one, it may as well be Coral. It's so fun. It's so fun and cool. Everybody's got their own little story. And they may be goofy and weird, but it's, it's, it's charming. It's charming in its character. And, and I like it very much. I don't think she really has a, a beef or a, or a mentor-mentee relationship with any of the bosses like the others. Um, I think she is also not very fond of Venom, just like Peanut. Um, but that may just be an incidental thing versus a versus a grr I hate you thing. Working off an embarrassing layer 35 loss from last Friday, with our previous coral run. So honestly, it's a low bar to improve. Ouch! We took a mine right to the to the side as I was talking about it. So good. Get that first down out the way early, <laughs> so we can have nothing but good things from here on out. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that was the problem with our peanut run. Our first down was too late in the run. So we ended up uh, not shaking it out early enough. So maybe that'll save this one. Maybe that'll save this run. We'll see though. Lots of, lots of run left to go. We're only on layer 5. Only 10% through. Oh, I didn't need that shutdown. I didn't need that coward shutdown. Then we lost another one on the transition. Boo. <laughs> boo! Boo, boo, boo. Oh wow, almost caught a back full of that line too. The ridiculous amount of single shot DPS that Coral puts out in the very particular spread that she puts it out in, she's really easy to surge with. Even with big dudes on the field. Just get right up in there, have a little dude next to him, and then pop. Massive surge. Makes her very good at scoring. Extremely good at scoring. But, uh, still kind of hard for me to play. <laughs> Oh, hello, Embryo. Layer 7 already, huh? Thanks for showing up for a third time. Bonk. <laughs> he tries really hard, but he just can't do it. He just has no chance. Oh, it almost makes you feel sorry for the guy, doesn't it? But not that sorry. I mean, he had a choice, and he made his choice. And that choice leads us here. Hmm. Oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, he's not gonna get it. He's not gonna get it, he almost got it, but he couldn't. He couldn't quite get it. I gave him all the chance in the world to really get us that time, and he couldn't. That's how bad Embryo is all the opportunity in the world, and he just could not. Just not his day. Try again tomorrow, I guess, Embryo. You'll get it someday. Of course, even if he had gotten us, it wouldn't be much of a... much of a tribute to his skill, more of the lack of mine, so... You know, even if he did win, he would still lose. <laughs>
Coral secondary, that plasma shield there. One of the few things to to actively follow the conveyor belt. Kind of weird, considering it doesn't even touch the ground. Like say, Peanut's standard magma. But still, it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting little mechanic there. It can lend itself to to weird things going on, like so. I'll nuke that turret. That was a little scary. Wasn't sure if we were gonna get bopped by that. <coughs> by the remainder of that missile explosion there. Did a, did a quick panic swap, and we ended up not losing chain on that either, so good. Kinda worried about that. But still, pretty early on, we don't need to worry about chain drops super much. All things being equal, we prefer not to drop chain. But, uh, oh, well, bye layer 10. That was quick. Layer 11, usually pretty soft touch. Even on red side here. Hmm. Plasma shield pushing super mines like that, not my favorite. Be kind of scary depending on where it pushes to. Casual thousand chain up and running. Layer 11. See ya on Friday, I suppose. So that'll be our final Layer 11 of the evening. spread there. Plasma shield, a bit of a liability sometimes. More so when I'm using it. But, good to just kind of set and forget, deal with things on one side, and then safe in the knowledge that your rear is protected a little bit. Not entirely, not completely, things can still get through it. But, uh, usually pretty safe. Put your back to it and blast away. usually want to put the plasma shield down such that you're not uh, popping it with wasps on the inside. So they won't get damaged enough to, to take a spill, they'll just get ejected out super fast, really across the rest of the level, and you gotta hunt them down anyways. Same deal for mines, those things get super speeded up, get even more dangerous than they already are. And placing it reasonably okay so far. Not much to worry about just yet. We haven't faced any really truly dangerous layers yet, though. Even Red 14 is still kind of a eh. On the scale of 1 to super dangerous. Oh, 
and it's Vespin. Must be layer 15, huh? There might be a ball strat for Vespi with Coral. You get good uh, plasma shield placement. But boy howdy, I'm not trying it. Especially with these flowers flying around. They're a little bit harder to anticipate where they're going to move. Take an accelerate just because I'm a little scared. Let the bug zapper take care of things for us. Yeah, nice, 2,000 chain. Up and ready. Ooh, my goodness. Ah, oh no, see? They ejected a wasp right into our face. Ah, uh, the shield, not perfect. <laughs> not perfect at all. Oh my goodness, please. All right, we're gonna coward this one out a little bit. I don't want to take a spill on final phase. Dope. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't, don't, don't. Vespi, please. Please don't be so painful. <laughs> well, alright, well, whatever. We had a nice solid 2,000 some chain there. Pretty good. Plenty of time to do better. Plenty of time to do better. See, we'll probably double. We'll double that for our next best chain here, right? That's what's gonna happen. That's what I'm gonna call out as happening. We can do that, right? that shutdown. That's a real unfortunate thing to do when they spawn in at the edges like that. Whoopsie doopsie. and spicy with those lasers, excuse me. Won't stop the laser. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a heck of a dance. Out of that maelstrom of bad news. Ooh, 
boy. That rocket quite nearly had me. We flipped just at the right time. Alright, back to Thousand Chain. Quarter of the way there to what I called earlier, right? Get ourselves a nice 4K, that would be pretty good. I'd count that as a partial win. <laughs> Well, I mean, no, I wouldn't, but it would feel nice. Oh! Rockets! Should not have backtracked there. Got me pretty good. That's alright, still plenty of time to hit the 4,000 chain, I guess. Right? Right, right. Still got a good three-fifths of the run. And, like, 40 through 50 are, are a solid 15 hundo on their own. We just need to hit 25 hundo by layer 39, right? <laughs> and then we'll be fine. over so that accidental shutdown grab could actually do some work for us. And it did. Very marginal amount. Oof. Too many of those factories. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, mid-game not looking good. I disagree with whatever happened there. That was very mm, questionable. But alright, we're still... should still be okay, maybe? <laughs> it's still pretty early yet, we've got plenty of time to mess around. It'll make the 4000 chain a little bit harder to get, but perhaps still possible. are the worst for Coral. Wasting an entire shotgun shell on a single wasp just floating around feels real bad. It's a waste of power. We left a lot of factories alive on the conveyor belt. Ah, shoot. Hmm. Okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> that's fine, I guess. It's kind of a morale killer. Only the big boys are around. You gotta walk half a mile to get to them. Uphill both ways through the snow. Full chain bonus back on Justice here, that's good. Try to pop at least one fence before we go. Bonk, thank you. 
pop that quick there, so he should still be in range. Excellent. Bonk. Uh, is this gonna be a thing? No, it is not. Okay, no just the surge that time either. We had poor setup. He uh, flung his final head all over the globe there. Could not bring it back in in time. What? Excuse me, where was that thing hiding? Magical disappearing mind to the face. Everybody's favorite party trick. Get me out of that death zone, please. My goodness. Looking less and less likely that we're gonna hit that called 4000 chain. But, uh, you know, unlikely doesn't mean impossible. It just means unlikely. Would it be a safe bet? No. Would it be a bet you could still make? Yes. <laughs> Spicy in there. All those mines and lasers. And still active turrets somehow, excuse me. Alright. Casino layer, zone three. Last visit to it for the evening. Take a few more accelerates than we normally do just to stay ahead of the curve. Oof, that was dangerous at best, kind of silly at worst. Excuse me? Oh my goodness. Uh, oh yeah, good. Shut down too. That's what I wanted. Hmm, 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 um, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one either. Oh my goodness. Okay, still early enough where we've got a chance. Perhaps not at that 4,000 chain, but at a clear, we've still got a chance. Look at those suckers! No, come on! <laughs> Freaking hero minds, man! Ah. 
really getting me. It's really bouncing on through everything. It's so silly. Mm. Don't like it. Do not like it. Would return it. Not give it 10 out of 10. IGN would be disappointed. Ooh, that was a dangerous thing to do without having a swap ready. I guess technically we could probably still wrangle a 4,000 change. That relies on a... Oh! Wait! Wait a minute, hold on a second. We missed something important. We're gonna do it post-27, that's okay. 27 player stretch. That's okay. We still got it as the layer was transitioning. I'm gonna count it. That's fine. <clears throat> it will still have its full effect on blessing us with a, with a good run, right? Although it didn't bless us last time. So perhaps it's not quite as blessed as we'd like it to be. It's still pretty blessed though. It's a rockin' tune. Very appropriate. <clears throat> Was a weird swap. <laughs> Perhaps not something we should repeat there. Maybe not try that again. Doggos, please. Ugh. You're all mine. My goodness. <laughs> Just going right for it. I mean, I can applaud... I can applaud their direct approach there. But I cannot applaud it giving me a heart attack. Like, please stop that. Thanks, buddy. Pick a direction. <laughs> Jerk. Alright, fine, whatever. We're out of that nightmare that was 28. I'm gonna get the shutdown as soon as I get up. Thanks. Very useful. tilted by this. Just gotta, just gotta loosen up, gotta relax. If we need to do a, a second 27 player stretch, we'll do that, but maybe we won't have to invoke it and wear out its charm. way too far inside the shield. So silly.
hear him. I hear him bouncing around. Why, how would you not navigate your way around a wall? Please. Ugh. Other doggo was just having a time. Oh my goodness, that was a terrible 29. have to be a little bit more disciplined with when I pull the trigger on the shotgun, considering the delay. Oh, well, that doesn't help. Not great 30 either, so a real bad run of layers. But we are up to 31. So possible embryo EX incoming if we don't totally duff up the Titan Jank and the following wave. Couple waves until the gank begins. Oops, sir. Excuse me. Um, excuse me? Okay. Gank isn't here yet, though, so we've still got a chance bit weakened from taking that stupid spell. Why are you still alive, sir? Okay, the gank begins. Take a couple coward shutdowns. I do not enjoy dealing with these dudes. Oh, now I'm gonna break chain anyways. Oh my goodness. Well, no embryo EX fight now. That's really so. Like, come on. This could be a problem. We're not going to get the refill out of Embryo EX. We're going to be going into probably green 32. So that's something. My goodness, that doesn't feel good. into red 33, so whatever. <laughs> Just whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Doggins, stop it. <laughs> Just stop it, please. Flip a critical there. First bit on the uh, 33. That's, that's passable, I guess. And of course he's gonna get himself wedged behind a wall! Ah! <laughs> Freaking doggos, man! 
shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Dude. Oh yeah, thanks for spreading that all over the world. Oh. Not some gum. Not going well. You for real with that. That dude's gonna toddle along and get caught behind a wall. Cool. Love it. Not hating it at all. Drop chain there for absolutely no reason. Cool. Mmm, good. It's going great. Did I mention I dislike conveyor belts? <laughs> Such a stupid layer 33. Ugh. That was a pretty early pop there, so that's some recovery. And against this wall, because I don't learn from my previous two runs, apparently. I get to it for the accelerate. They had time to be caught without the firepower with Coral, and there's a bunch of mines about. They catch you in that gap between reloads. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh my, really? Where the- Hmm. Okay. 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 That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Pity battery there, that's fine. We like seeing pity batteries on 35. That's great. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Send every rocket down from the heavens, please. Life sink, really. This is what happened on our first coral run, too. We took so many silly spills on 35, but that was just it. All the wonderful mine cans couldn't save us. So, yeah, I just had to spill there because I had to wait for it to come to me. eating that one. Not this time. Boy, that was a, a very ugly 35 that we managed to somehow get through. And I'm gonna blue chain there! Hooray! <laughs> we didn't need that. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need... 
No help on this, I guess. Ridiculous number of chain drops here. So silly. battery on that one. Doggos, please. We're kind of bleeding a little bit here. So this is going to get real tight real quick. Good recovery there. I'm not sh quite sure how, <laughs> but I guess I won't complain about it. the curse, which is probably two layers further than I expected this to go, considering. Tried to push that dude right into me. Excuse me. No, I'm gonna lose chain there! Come on! <laughs> we can't do that! We gotta not do that! So silly! side of the turret. Because of course you would. Okay. Post curse is probably going to get us. Probably. Because of course it will. Grab that shutdown for the health refill only, really. <sighs> Shoot. That probably might be the killer there. So now we're super slow, a little bit underpowered. Any graceful battery gains we did have up to this point are probably toast. Please. I knew I was going to take it down there, but now that's probably it. There's no way. The magical pity battery to keep this hobbling along. <laughs> okay. Sure.
honestly am surprised this is still rolling the way it is. Excuse me. <laughs> On this absolute garbage fire of a run, we're actually making it to 40? I can't believe it. Wait for that to be an accelerate it's way too slow otherwise. Okay. Now shutdowns are kind of a liability considering how far we have to walk to to do some damage but if we need him we need him series of grabs that shouldn't have happened. Fudge. There's so many rockets going on there. Excuse me. to be very choosy about our targets. Honestly, 45 is usually the worst, but we're not out of this by a long shot. Please. <laughs> Are you a little bit serious with this? Are you even a little bit serious with this? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Come on! Come on! Even I am in disbelief about that one. Like, come on! <laughs> oh no! Like, why, though? <sighs> OK. 
okay. I mean, it's a thing that has happened. Stick in some numbers. Wow, 18 downs is silly. With the 194 there. No Embryo EX fight, but we still made it through somehow. Lord. No just a surge. A victory. So that puts us at 8 out of 15, which is pretty good. We are at the north end of 50% now, after tonight, which is pretty solid. Like, holy heck. Like, holy heck. Alright, so another win-loss win with Holly, Peanut, Coral. We've redeemed Coral. Peanut is still 0 for 2, which is unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Holly and Coral are now 1 for 2. And we're at 8 out of 15 win-loss. Or win total, I suppose. Eight and seven is our record. Good golly. <laughs> Just good golly. I, I'm very still kind of shocked that that one worked. All right, let's 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 do some add-ups. Let's see where we're at for points. The five hundred fifty-three dollars of donations. Thank you very much, everybody. Add to that. Let's see. Let's whip out a calculator because I do not trust my. My in head adding. So 553 five, donations. It's 184 Donalins plus uh, 40 from Embryo Fights, 20 from Justice Surges, 160, my goodness, for victories. 10 from Follows, 180 from Subs, and 6 from Bits. 1163! Phew! 1163 out of 14 Hundo. We're getting awful close to unlocking round 7. Like, if you want to put the pressure on, now would be the time. Now and Friday night, I suppose, would be the time. To apply that pressure on the round seven. So that's only what? 200, 237 points? That's pretty close. A few donations could tip that over. A few donations plus uh, our performance on Friday night could tip that over. <laughs> All right, well, I think I'm, I've finally recovered from the shock of this Coral win. Um, so this is Infinity Drive for Life, multi-day charity stream supporting Extra Life, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Specifically, this event is going for Children's Wisconsin and Wauwatosa for their COVID-19 impact fund. Very important cause. Very important to help out wherever we can, whenever we can, with whatever we can. Uh, whether that's donations, awareness, etc. So thank you very much to everybody who's donated. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, next round will be this coming Friday. That'll be round 6. 28th August, 7.30 p.m. CDT start time. Pushed it back by half an hour. Um, but that'll be the final three in our second run-through of all nine. Licorice, Shiitake, and Starch. Boy, howdy. Is that gonna be a set of drives to do back to back to back? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It couldn't get any worse than this Coral one, could it? It probably could. It probably could. Well, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.